now we shall see how did the europeans get the knowledge of printing so as we all know that the europeans have been trading with the east from many centuries before the modern period so it was also famously known as silk route the route through which the silk has been transported from china to the west via through crossing through india and all the countries so the same silk route has paved the way for the pass of the knowledge in regards to printing in the 11th century where the knowledge has been passed back by a traveler who came to china to understand them the manuscripts which were written during that time were written in india and these were very shabby and very difficult to carry and when it comes to the people those are writing there there they used to write by scribes scribes means something which we call it as uh, professional writers they are trained who write very beautifully with their hands so they used to have people who used to copy the data but it was a very good art of calligraphy this calligraphy was continued in the west in 1295 ad marco polo italian traveler who came to china after wandering at various places then he moved on back to italy where he took the knowledge of wooden blocks these wooden blocks knowledge has been taken by marco polo so the process of transforming knowledge towards europe from the east was on a larger scale taken by marco polo marco polo was the first man from the east who took the knowledge towards the west generally we find people taking a material or men for work or for any other business purposes but for the first time the knowledge has been traveling from the east towards the west generally the route was in the vice versa it was in the reverse route the knowledge travels from the west to the east here in during this period it was a remarkable change which happened with the intention of marco polo taking up the knowledge of the east printing knowledge towards the west that's how the wooden blocks were been initiated knowledge has been exposed to the europeans so generally in europe we have a custom of writing the books where most of the people are fond of having the books written so as i told you before the scribes the scribes are the people who used to translate the books or who used to engrave their handwritings very beautifully and give the written books for them but now when it comes to the manuscripts or any other scripts as i told you the books were not so neat because the page was either with the rubber or with the shabby part with the grass layers and all so it was very difficult for us to look at the paper or to catch the paper it was not so neat as you think the paper today is so soft and so elegant to look it was completely different so for the rich people to have they used to have a paper which is made with animal skin that is known as vellum the vellum was the paper which was used to write for the books which are read by the luxury people rich people or higher aristocrat community people these special pages were used by the scribes to write on the books and these books are being given to the rich people or most of the times it has been maintained by those people but later as the time passed on and the demand for the books the reading the reading habit has been inculcated in all corners of italy so the demand started to increase day by day so the book sellers earlier these scribes were maintained by rich people or aristocrats or the officials who are working in the kingdom under the king but later because of the growing demand need and necessity the book sellers also started to maintain at least 50 scribes and each one because of the growing demand this clearly shows for us that the reading has going on reaching to various corners of europe people started to read in a very large scale that's the major point what we are learning to understand now after having this much of growth of the reading habit the demand 
automatically went up. When the demand automatically grew up, this led to a massive upcoming of the changes because when automatically the demand is being shown and the handwritten things cannot contemplate or cannot suffice the demand. You apply 50 people, 100 people, the production may be doubled, but the demand is fourfold times, fivefold times increasing. So it is very difficult to get that understand. So that's how they decided to go for some quick necessity for them has been initiated because of the growing demand. So this clearly shows for us that something we need which can do quick work at the same time at very cheap cost or at very less cost. So we need something that has to be done at very quick, very fast and at very less cost. So that's how the need for the machinery has been triggered with the growing demand in the Europe. So now let us now move on to the finding out of the printing press. It actually we all know that printing press was invented by John Gutenberg in 1453. But before understanding about this, who is John Gutenberg? John Gutenberg lives in Strasbourg of Germany where his father was a merchant and he used to live in a very large estate. So being a son of a merchant and living in a large estate, he got exposed to olive and wine fields. When we own an olive and a wine fields, the oil seeds and the wine seeds are being pressed to get the juice and the oils. So that's how we got the knowledge of pressing. That pressing molds, he got to acquire the knowledge. Later, he acquired the knowledge of goldsmith, how to make the molds to be very shiny and very smooth so that that pressing would get the 100% benefit from the seeds of wine or the olive seeds. So that's how he learned the knowledge of making the molds. So he started to make the lead molds. So once he started to have the idea of the lead molds, he started to make all the molds of the alphabets with the lead and start to make the printing. This idea slowly, slowly developed and in 1448, he was able to make it perfect printing machine. So the first book printed was, as you all know, Bible. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.